The National Navy continues to closely monitor all the conditions that have been generated after the tailspin left by Hurricane Eta in the archipelago, emphasizing that in recent hours there has been an increase in the waves and winds considerably which has caused significant damage. In the last few hours, we have suffered a significant increase in the seabed phenomenon impacting the islands of San Andres and Old Providence as a result of the winds produced by Hurricane Eta at its impact on the coast of Nicaragua. This has had a significant effect on some homes, as well as on trees falling, some effects on the island's electrical flow, which the government, the risk unit, and other institutions are trying to overcome and which currently have no major effect on the population. It should be noted that the maritime authorities managed to evacuate all the boats allowing them to take refuge in calm waters to avoid an emergency, while at the same time they evacuated the uniformed personnel who were exercising their sovereignty in the different keys. For this environmental phenomenon, the Colombian Navy was able to alert all the ships in the area so that artisanal and industrial fishermen were able to seek refuge in waters so that there would be no further damage. The harbor master is emphatic that the restriction of navigator and water sport continue. The measures taken by the harbor master in San Andres due to the effect of Hurricane Eta have been to prohibit the navigation of small boats as well as recreational and nautical sports. In conclusion, the restriction for navigation will go until the climatic conditions improve. Apparently, according to the authorities, this could continue affecting the islands until next Thursday.